Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Just let me have a little bit of this coffee before we get underway. Today I thought I would just do a really chill little video talking to you guys about my thoughts on the Loistrum, I think that's how you pronounce it. It's been a while since I've looked that up, um, but the bullet journal, the original kind of bullet journal that I used in 2019 as my way of organizing my schedule and life and pretty much everything, like everything life related went into this. And I wanted to do a bit of a review on it in case you still haven't gotten yourself organized for this year. I wish I could have got this video up in December, but unfortunately due to just how busy my December was with other projects and my graduation and Christmas and stuff, it was just impossible. But I thought to make this video a bit more useful in case the review part is not useful for anyone. I thought I'd talk through at least what I'm doing to keep myself organized this year and kind of the system that I've put into place because it's a little bit different to anything I've ever really done before. But firstly, let's talk about the bullet journal. So this is the Loistrum 1917 medium A5 hardcover dotted notebook in black. <laughs> it's a big mouthful to say, but just for specifics, it does come in a couple of other colors, I believe, but I was really keen just to get a plain black one. I used this kind of like a traditional sort of planner where I had like a monthly calendar kind of set up as well as weekly spreads, but I drew up the weekly spreads as I went along. And then sometimes in between weekly spreads, I would have like just scribbles of notes and things that I was sort of thinking of or video ideas and stuff like that. So it was very much like an everything journal so i drew all of these up at the beginning of the year and then just had to fill them in as i went this particular month i didn't really use the note section very much i was touring a lot that month um so most of the things that are in here are like concert dates and such but other months i definitely have used that section as well just to put extra bullet points and stuff I really loved this particular layout. Also, if you want to see it unfilled in and blank and a little bit more explanation of like how I drew it all up and stuff, then I'll try and remember to link my old bullet journal sort of setup video from a year ago. This system worked really well for me. I do love a nice big month to view calendar. This, as I say, is where I generally planned like life events. So like concerts, rehearsals, uh, appointments, stuff like that. But I did keep my sort of online content calendar quite separate. I had a different system for that that followed straight after the sort of schedule calendar. Um, and that looked a little something like this. So a slightly different layout, a little sort of monthly calendar along here. And I sort of separated them by weeks. And then at the top here, I have like filmed, edited, thumbnail, description. So I could tick those off as I did them. And I've just planned when I wanted my content to go up here. This is where I would put information regarding sponsorships for the month, but in August I had none. That's pretty much how I organized my content for the year. And I did really like this system. I like having a separate kind of content calendar. I feel like if I tried to include content on this as well, it would have been like way too much. So I love that aspect of it. But for my new system this year, I think I've got it even better. So I'm excited to show you guys in a second what I'm doing now. If you are gonna do the kind of bullet journal thing, I do think the way I set it up this year worked really, really well for me. Most of the rest of the journal, I've got a few pages at the end I haven't used, but most of it is filled out. As I say, a lot of it looks like this. So kind of like little weekly spreads that I would draw up. I love this. Get off your phone. Content isn't gonna make itself, Anna. But yeah, that's pretty much how I planned like weeks. And I really liked doing that, like sitting down at the start of the week and drawing it up and kind of writing in a schedule then. I'm much more of a weekly layout person than a day diary kind of person. In a nutshell, I loved the system. Like it worked really, really well for me. Other years I had like multiple kind of journals. I'd have one that was for like, my schedule like a real diary and then had another thing that was kind of for like my content and like, it was just I had like a lot of little different things but I found like having everything in the one was really useful especially the Loistrum bullet journals have three little ribbons and that was literally a life changer for me. I don't think I would have liked this as much if it didn't have the three ribbons because I could keep one ribbon in my monthly calendar that I was currently on, one ribbon in my content calendar and one in like the weekly spread that I was using that week. So I could easily flip between them. I think if I didn't have these three ribbons, I wouldn't have enjoyed this as much. So my suggestion is if you're gonna get a bullet journal, try and get one with three ribbons. It made a big difference to me. At the very beginning, there's kind of like a little index and all the pages are numbered. And I thought I would love that and use it way more, but I definitely didn't. I sort of stopped around page 100. <laughs> So that wasn't really much use to me. So then why have I decided not 
to do a bullet journal this year then. The reason is because even though this is quite like a slim planner, like it's not like some big bulky ring binder thing, I still find it kind of big to carry around. I tend to use little like crossbody bags and stuff these days most of the time. So to fit in a diary like this, it takes up most of the bag if I can even fit it in. Um, doesn't allow any room for like my camera or my phone or anything else. So I just struggled with the portability of it um, if I was going to be carrying around with me all the time because it is my schedule so I decided that 2020 new year new decade I should probably go digital all my friends were telling me to go digital um, they're all like entrepreneurs and content creators and they're like why are you still using paper schedule and I'm like I don't know I just like the analog life I decided I'd do it and I actually have a really good method this year but basically I am using Google Calendar this year and I wanted to show you guys down here so I've got different calendars um, and this is literally the reason I love Google Calendar and why it's been so useful so I started this system in December because I wanted to kind of make sure it would work for me before we launch into the new year so I've got a personal calendar which is like a sort of pink color I have a content calendar so that's how I can plan all my videos and blog posts and stuff um, and that's this kind of nice beigey color and then I've got my two kind of work um, schedules so work for life by Anna Elaine so that's any videos blog posts anything to do with my online content creation it goes under that um, I keep that the same color as content because it is all related um, it's just helpful to have them separate so I can actually switch one on and off and then I have work for music, so anything related to my music work is in black, which is just like freelancing gigs at the moment, so it's quite bare, especially in December. And yeah, I love this because I can easily just like turn off certain calendars, so I can just have my content calendar up, and as you can see, but I just love being able to turn off some of these calendars so I can just see my content. It makes sitting down and planning my content like at the start of the month so much easier, because I can see exactly like when videos are going up at what time and this is hilarious bullet journal review that did not get done then i think i had some switching around in here <laughs> oh yeah that's right i replaced that video with like a um, get ready with me this was obviously like honor awards week very busy um took a bit more time off around here because my family were here but yeah and then if we click to the next month oh sneak peek at what's coming so yeah, I can just easily plan my content calendar that way. And I just love planning it this way, having the different calendars kind of overlapping each other and then you can just turn them on and off. Mainly because I can sit down at the start of the month, I can plan out all my online content of when I want it to go up and then I can have all my music work and gigs and stuff already put in there as well as like personal appointments, um, things that I've, you know, dinners and stuff with friends. I can have that all in there and then I can plan my like, Anna Elaine work around that schedule so I can look at like what I already have on and what videos I need to make and I can go okay so I need to film that on this day and I like slot that in same with like editing creating Instagram stuff all goes under my Anna Elaine work calendar it's working really well for me so far I know a lot of people in the content creation world um, tend to love things like Asana and um, Trello I think is the other one which is like a content management kind of online system um, I actually looked into both and I did sort of try Asana but at this stage with what I'm doing it seemed a little bit advanced and a bit like unnecessary um, I'm sure it's great once you get to know it it just seemed a bit much and I was like you know what I kind of want everything in the one place I just found the idea of having like my content calendar on another thing separate to my schedule just a bit confusing like that's what I loved about my bullet journal having it all in one place so for me this year I feel like going completely digital with that has worked really really well when I'm using my schedule on my phone I originally was just trying like the Google Calendar app um, and I didn't like the way it looked I know that's a silly thing but it just didn't it wasn't pleasing like I feel like looking at the screen it looks pretty simple it's quite clean but the Google Calendar app for phone had too many like bright colors and it was just like not a nice layout I didn't enjoy it and you can sync your Google Calendar up just to like Apple Calendar which I thought looked okay but I found a way better one which I really liked so down the bottom of my phone I have this little app here in my little like I don't know what you call this bar thing um, and this is time page by moleskin you're probably familiar with the brand moleskin that make very similar kind of journals to like loistrum they make an app called time page and they have a couple of other ones as well that i've looked at actions and other oh, some scribbling one as well but those ones i didn't really know how to use slash didn't really 
offer me anything. Um, so this is the only one that I'd really recommend and enjoy. What I loved about this was it just has a really nice kind of clean layout. It's just really pretty to look at. And then that's kind of like what the daily sort of schedule looks like. Even has down the bottom like what the weather's doing, which is really handy. But I obviously can't show you that because it says what suburb I live in. But yeah, it's just a really nice layout. So you can also like flip your phone like this and it'll show you like a monthly calendar in a bit more detail a bit more similar to like Google Calendar. So I really enjoy that system, that's working super well for me. However, I do still have one little kind of analog thing that I am using this year, and that is just a plain journal. So I picked this really nice one up from Kiki K. It's just like a kind of like croc skin sort of looking leather with a gold binder down the side, just really nice. It's just plain note paper. Um, I'm still going to be using notebooks and such for kind of like jotting down ideas, brainstorming, writing out my thoughts, uh, making rough to-do lists, things like that. Like sometimes I need a bit more detail and it just doesn't feel right to type it or put it into my phone. I really feel like my creativity flows best if I'm writing with pen and paper. So that's why I will always have something like this around. But this is quite a lot different to like my bullet journal that I had this year because it just doesn't contain like my schedule or anything. It's just literally like a thoughts diary really just somewhere to kind of jot stuff down and um yeah i don't know just scrappy notes and things uh, and then all my like proper planning and such goes into the digital sphere so that's as i say pretty much how i organize my life and my content creation stuff for 2020 so hopefully you found it interesting useful i hope that the review on the bullet journal was helpful in some way if you want to see more sort of organization and lifestyle videos and definitely subscribe i do make a good mix of that as well as some like beauty content as well and until my next video i hope you guys have a wonderful couple of days and i'll talk to you then bye